to Cooking with Sarah. Today we are going to be all about coffee and tea and hot chocolate and other delicious beverages like that. And I am going to show you my little cafe here in this little village. Let me go ahead and get back to first person here and get my hot bar back. Here we go. First thing we need to do is pick us some coffee. Now, if you've played Mod Packs with Industrial Craft 2, you remember what a pain in the butt it is to try to get coffee. No more of that, no more crossbreeding, you just have to punch the right tuft of grass and you get a lovely little coffee seed that you can stick in the ground and get all the delicious coffee that you want. Let's pick some of this Kona, let's go pick some of the Santo Domingo over here, I think some of this is ready here, there we go, make our nice little house blend. Uh, the tea patch is over that way, but first I want to show you some other stuff here. We're going to need some peppercorns. Those are not peppercorns, that's vanilla. Which I thought we were going to need, but we didn't. But I'll show you something else cool about it in just a second. This is a cinnamon tree, and cinnamon is a little different from some of the other trees like this. Um, its fruit, of course, is its bark. So if you try to punch its leaves to get the cinnamon out, you're going to have a bad time. Now what you have to do, look at the bark. You notice how some of it's got a bigger peel on it than others? You just right click that peel, and off comes the cinnamon. What you'll need to do before you eat this is to throw it in the mortar and pestle and grind it up. But you can bone meal it just like anything else, like so. We are going to need some peppercorns, believe it or not. I'll get some more of those. Uh, I think these should be ripe. Oop, there we go. And those go in your mortar and pestle as well to make black pepper. Now, of course you'll need your regular cocoa beans. There we go. Now, you know how cocoa beans need jungle wood to grow on. It does not necessarily have to be a jungle tree, it turns out. Look at the vanilla tree here. Notice that it is made basically of jungle wood. And co cocoa beans will stick to it and grow just like they will in a jungle tree. So, as a general rule, hello piggy. Any tree where you combine the fruit with a jungle sapling to get a sapling for that fruit, there's a good chance that you can stick cocoa beans on it. So you don't have to go all over the world, right in ages, looking for cocoa beans. Alright, let's get us a little bit of tea. Let's see, I've got some delicious teas here. Pick them right at the peak of freshness. Unfortunately, we do not have trained monkeys to pick our tea. Nor do we have cats to eat our coffee beans for us and then poop out better coffee beans. Just for giggles, um, I have actually tried the cat poop co coffee. Uh, I think what we had probably gotten at that point was the not genuine cat poop coffee, but the chemically processed kind. Even the fake stuff, I've never been able to drink coffee black in my life, and that was the smoothest stuff I've ever had. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Stump Butts Cafe, where we sell organic, fair trade, coffee flavored coffee. And a few assorted pastries and stuff like that. Now, to make our coffee, uh, to make just a plain old cup of coffee, you can throw your coffee beans in a furnace and smelt them, and you will, at some point, get doo -doo 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 -doo, a cup of coffee. You can throw a tea leaf in, and that will give you a cup of tea. Now, with coffee and coffee-based beverages, when you drink them, you either get a jump boost, or you get speed. So, hee <laughs> boingy, 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 okay. That ought to be about ready. There we go. There's a cup of tea. And we'll just... Ah. Well fed. Good tea. And that's all well and good, but it's a little plain. So we have some other recipes here for some other beverages. Uh, here we have just your 
espresso, which is three times the coffee plus sugar. Let's just go ahead and, uh, whoops, get a little, hey buddy, how you doing? A little sip of, ooh, <laughs> there we go, wee <laughs> Jump boost two, which is, yeah, I'm bouncing off the walls here. Or, instead of your regular espresso, you can throw some milk in, you can throw some cinnamon in, and you get... Oops, what am I out of? Oh, I need another espresso. There we go. Let's just throw that in the hot bar. Coffee con leche. Translation, coffee with milk. And we'll just uh, suck that down there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Jump boost, well fed. Okay. Woo. I'm not going to be sleeping for about three days. <laughs> and now we move on to our tea beverages. Um, of course, you can have just your plain old tea. Or if you prefer a cold drink, you can mix a tea leaf, a snowball, and a raspberry, and get some raspberry iced tea. Which gives you a speed boost. Or you can make chai. Now this is what I thought we were going to need the vanilla for. Turns out we didn't. It is a tea leaf, black pepper, and ground cinnamon. And you just put that in your hot bar and whoops, I'm all full up. Okay. Well, we'll just save that for later. Now, what if you don't want caffeine? Well, okay, fine. Don't know what's wrong with you. No, that's okay actually. I had to quit caffeine myself not too long ago. You can get some cho hot chocolate. You get hot chocolate by cocoa pe with cocoa powder, which is again cocoa beans and a mortar and pestle, and a milk and a juicer. Gives you a nice, comfy, cozy cup of hot chocolate. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start up the jukebox here. We put it behind the cu the counter so the customers can't mess with it. There we go. Let's go sit on the patio here for a bit. There we go. And check out this lovely view while we sip our hot chocolate. Mm, boy. Of course, you'll want a pastry to go with your hot chocolate. I didn't put any in the work table. But, let's see. Let's get a nice... I can't spill. Too much coffee. Cinnamon roll. Now remember how to make dough. It's flour, salt, water, and a cutting board. To that you'll add some sugar, some ground cinnamon, and put that in some bakeware, and bake it into a nice sticky cinnamon roll. You can also make brownies, and we'll get into more pastries later on. I do plan on making a bakery. Okay, unnamed is what happens when you put a vanilla bean in the furnace. Why it's unnamed, I don't know. But this is one of your bigger recipes here. Yes, a brownie is a nourishing meal. I want to live in this world. Walnuts or butternuts, cocoa powder, flour, egg, roasted vanilla, which is what we'll call it for lack of a better term, sugar, butter, and bakeware. Again, if you'd like to look up some pastry recipes in the meantime, NEI is your own personal, personable, <laughs> personal portable cookbook. It will help you out there. And let's just check out the sunset here. Oh boy. So, from Cooking with Sarah, Bon Appetit, and enjoy your caffeine and Hey, if you enjoy the series, um, let me ask you a favor. In the description on all my videos, I have a link to my Extra Life fundraising page. Um, if you appreciate the videos and you like to see more and you like to you enjoy what you're seeing here, um, go drop a dollar or two in Extra Life's pocket for me. It would make me very happy, and it would make some kids at Texas Children's Hospital very happy, too. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.